Hey guys, it's Shalom or Shalom, depending on how you know me, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a 20 year old college student who loves to make bacon lifestyle videos, and today we're gonna to be talking about what's in my church purse. So if you haven't done so, tap the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I think this is gonna be a fun video. Um, I'm a nosy person, so I love to see what people carry in their purse, and so hopefully this, you'll enjoy this. <clears throat> Purse or church bag, okay? I saw this video off of Cayenne Tilton and I thought it was awesome. It reminded me of like old YouTube when people did the, what's in my this and what's in my phone and what's in my phone and so it was nice. Switching up a little bit. Okay, so in this first pouch right here, it has a huge AK sign. I don't know who AK is. I asked my sister, we speculated. It's probably not that hard to figure out. You probably already know, but it's, it's fine. Just, if you ask me, I don't know who. Um, but in this first pouch, I have just my chapstick and what's supposed to be a hydrating lip boost. It's supposed to be like, I just wanted it to be like, add a little bit of color. Um, <clears throat> but it's really not that good, if I'm being honest. Uh, and yeah, my chapstick. My chapstick, I really like this. I, I don't know, maybe the circle shape just inspires me, but I really love it. And I just keep that in the front pouch. I sometimes keep like my watch here in this front pouch or earrings or anything that I just didn't have time to put on and quickly put it in there so that I can get and go if I'm in the car. And then next we'll be moving on to this a big section right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But the side adjacent, I think that's what you would say, adjacent to AK or on the other side of AK, okay? Um, is uh, where I put my wallet and my hand sanitizer. And then there's a huge, there's a bigger pouch, but I don't really carry anything in there just because I don't really need to. So here's my wallet. <clears throat> Actually, it's a card holder. Uh, get the terms confused. But I don't really like carrying a wallet just because it's so big and I don't like carrying things. So usually when I'm not going like somewhere deep like Walmart, I'll carry this in my keychain and go. And um, so this is, by a nonprofit called Sublux. Um, I think it's really cute. I got a lot of compliments on it, and you just put your cards in there. And I believe it is a uh, Haitian based, they're based in Haiti. I'll send you, I'll put you on, I won't send you, I'll put the, the link in the description of the nonprofit. I think it's really cool. <clears throat> and I love this card holder. Next, I have my hand sanitizer, like I told you. I just like hand sanitizer, um, also because of COVID, <laughs> it's good to have hand sanitizer, but I've always loved hand sanitizer even before all of COVID happening. Next is in the other pouch, I have my journal and I used to just take my personal journal. So if you, I don't know if y'all can see, but behind my Bible here is my personal journal. Um, I used to take that to church, but I just didn't like mixing up the church sermons and my own like devotion and, and quiet time, my private time notes. Uh, it just would be, I don't know, I didn't like that. So this is specifically for my church uh, <clears throat> notes. I got it from Walmart. My sister actually bought two and I was like, oh, can I have one? And she gave me one. And it's just like this. It just has bullet notes and oops, I haven't had it for that long, but I write my church notes in here. Handwriting is not the best, so. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this because I can just look at all the church sermon notes that's been happening. And I think this one I just started in 2021. No, I started in December 6, 2020. Revive series. So yeah, that's that. And I need that journal. If I go to church and I don't take notes, I really struggle because then I'm left to taking notes on my phone and I just don't like taking notes on my phone. So yeah, um, these are my glasses. I usually never actually keep my glasses in my case. It's literally just a reminder and a signal whenever I'm looking at my purse and like seeing if I have everything that, oh, did you bring your glasses? Cause you need them to drive and you need them to read your notes when you write them down. I don't really need them when I write my notes down, but it helps. And so it's just kind of like a reminder. And luckily today they're in my case. And then in the side pocket, I just have a bunch of pens and pencils because I don't like carrying one because I don't know when it's gonna break or run out of ink. So these are all the pens. I like to write in the pink one. Um, and I bring pencils sometimes if the pastor is reading for a passage in the Bible and I wanna underline it in my Bible too because 
I don't know, for me, it's like the idea of being able to underline it in your Bible because you can remember exactly where he was preaching from. The no Even if you write it in your sermon notes, like you remember it because you flip to your Bible. I don't know, that was a long story just to say, I like to bring my pencils. These are my glasses cleaners because sometimes my glasses get foggy when I wear the mask. Um, someone told me a new technique of how to not get them foggy, so I'll see if that works. Apparently, if you just put them under your glasses, and I think that's been working, so. But you know, your glasses can still get foggy, so it's okay. In the back, I have um, emergency masks. If I, um, these are just ready, clean masks if I'm about to uh, go to church and I don't have a mask or I'm going somewhere and I'm using this purse. Usually I only take this purse to church because I don't really go <laughs> any places because there's really nowhere to go. Everything's remote. Uh, the only place I really do go is to church. So there's that. Um, so yeah, just a long story to say. I ramble a lot, but that's just a long, long words. I keep extra masks just in case. And so that's basically it in my bag. I really am proud of myself because I used to have a cluttering problem and I would just like put stuff after stuff after stuff and I couldn't find anything in my purse. <clears throat> but I was just like, no, 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 <laughs> this is not efficient. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you bring anything similar into your church bag or tell me what you do bring or what you don't bring or what works for you when you go to church. And I just want to encourage you to stay blessed. God is with you. He's for you. He loves you. And you have a higher calling. You have a higher purpose. You're not meant to just float here and just be doing nothing. Idle hands are the devil's play. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when you start stepping into the purpose of who God called you to be, you start moving mountains because of the spirit of Christ who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. So I hope you stay blessed. God loves you. See you in another video. Bye.